boat. There we go. We're gonna, he's going to go underneath the boat. We got that shark up to the side of the boat. It was extremely difficult to do video or anything at that time or any photographs. Uh, obviously, this is what happened. This is a Penn Mariner stand-up seven-foot rod, supposedly solid glass. Let me show you your solid glass rods. See that hole in the center? Hey folks, Captain Dave here. I just wanted to do a follow-up on some of the shark footage that you just saw. And I kind of mentioned how I will follow up. Okay. When that rod broke, that Penn Mariner rod, I was really kind of pissed off. And I want to tell you why. Besides, yeah, it was probably a too light of a rod. It might not have been handled all that great. Um, but... I got the laptop right here, right on the Penn's uh, Mariner page off of their website. And I wanted to actually read to you that you don't always get what you're supposed to be getting, okay? One piece glass blank. All right, made of glass. We can go with that. Uh, then it says... Mariner stand-up rods are tough, dependable, and good-looking. Constructed from solid glass blanks for durability. Mariner rods are unlike typical solid glass rods with tapers comparable to tubular blanks okay right here on this page off of the pen website the word glass and solid glass rods is mentioned let's see glass one okay two okay three times it says glass and or solid glass hmm maybe they're out of stock and you can't even get a mariner stand-up rod anymore is because they were p o s pieces of shit okay well i did a little investigation and here's the forensics of what was left of that blank no eyes, no real seat, no butt, no foregrip, no nothing. There's the part that I showed you on the footage from the shark trip. That's what broke. That is not solid. And here's the super evidence. There's the butt. Hollow made of glass. I hope somebody at Penn sees this because it's like total BS. All right. So this is the follow-up. I am hopefully always following up. It may take a while, but I'm following up. That is not a solid glass rod. It's a made of glass. All right. So, I want to show you because you may not know. There's tubular, there's tubular graphite, there's tubular graphite and fiberglass, there's all kinds of stuff. There's made of glass, fiberglass, and then there's solid glass. This here. This is an old blank that my uncle gave me, two of these. Old boat rods, wooden handles, 
You know, I mean, geez. Well, I guess when I was a kid, we were fishing with these. Okay. So, the color of this thing gives away its age. Early 70s, probably. Um, you know, even refrigerators were avocado green back then. I know my mom had one. Okay, avocado green. I don't know. That was something to do with the hot color. Okay, it's kind of like everything's stainless now, you know. But that's an avocado green. Solid glass. And I'm going to show you what solid glass is. Okay. Solid glass means no hole. No hole. This is solid glass. You don't see any hole right there. And then look at back here. This is a real rod. That goes all the way to the butt. Solid glass. Okay. The reason I'm kind of making a big ass stink about this is because I bought solid glass rod, so I thought, for shark fishing. You know, everyday shark fishing. Well, I didn't. I got duped. This is a solid glass blank. This thing is as tough. This will be around forever. Okay. That, that blank right there. I'm stripping these down. And I'm going to have these blanks turned into some badass rods. Okay. Solid glass. Kind of like what they talk about here on the Pen Tackle website. Durability. Durability. I'm into this durability utility thing. Okay. Especially when it you're taking a you know a monstrosity of a fish and you got your your average Joe kind of guy reeling it in. You gotta have what I call there's that little cushion there. Because this right here makes three rods broken on sharks just this summer alone. Okay. That thing is a piece of crap. I had some Okumas snap. Two of them break. Okay. So I'm pretty much ending that because I got a whole different ball of wax rods going on now, let me tell you. I got one that there ain't no, I don't think there ain't no shark that's going to break. And I refer to it as the candy cane. A custom built solid glass blank. But this is solid glass, and um, I guess you just can't find solid glass rods, true solid glass anymore. It's all this cheap stuff. So, you know, it makes you be a garbage pick. When you see rods sticking up out of somebody's garbage or something, check them out. They might be old 1970s, real solid glass. So I just wanted to follow up on that video, and uh, yeah, I got a bone to pick with Penn. So that's the follow up after the shark, and after the rod breaking, and us not getting, you know, the endo day footage that we wanted to get. But I just wanted to tell everybody that watch out, you're not getting in these rods what you think you are. Okay. Granted, those pens, I didn't spend no money for them. That's the reason they don't even have them. You can't even find stand-up pen mariners anymore, really. is because they were on a closeout, and I got four of them dirt cheap. Um, they're good for anything but, you know, 500-pound fish, I'm sure. But um, I still got a couple of them, and they'll be going to the old swap meet. So, Cap Dave signing off in the Wolf Den. Thanks for watching.